Pilar, I want to ask you, um, what was your diet before being diagnosed with cancer? And then what was the diet you switched to that uh, you feel contributed to part of your cancer healing journey? I love talking about this. This is a good question. Um, well, I'm a Spanish Mexican and I grew up in the border for 21 years with a very unhealthy diet. I remember being in first grade and drinking Coca-Cola at lunch and chips and flour tortillas and bologna sandwiches, <laughs> but Coke, like water and a lot of spicy, very, um, how can I, preserve, you know, candies with a lot of preservatives. And my diet was people here where I am right now, it's in the border right now, um, drink Coke like it's water. So I ate a lot of uh, red meat, you name it, uh, barbacoa, uh, fajitas, all red meat, a lot of processed food, a lot of fast food, a lot of sodas. As I grew up, alcohol, cigarettes, fast food, five times a week. I didn't like vegetables, maybe apples, maybe a little bit of salad, but with fried chicken, <laughs> very unhealthy. Always on the go in a big city in Austin, Texas. Very, 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 very unhealthy. And I did whatever I wanted because I had very good digestion because I was very calm. I was a calm person. Uh, then here comes the cancer. I continue doing the wrong things. I just took the medication that the doctor said in 2010, my oncologist, he was like the God here, whatever he said, that's what I was going to do. So I did medication, continue my diet, the same stress. But then in 2014, I already had some knowledge about plant-based and, and detoxing completely changed my diet to eating less fasting, juicing, smoothies, plant-based. I do eat fish once in a while. I don't like processed food. I look at everything, make sure where it comes from. If my kids are going to eat eggs once in a while, I get them from the farm. But my diet is a lot of greens, a lot of blueberries, strawberries, all the berries, a smoothie every day with moringa, uh, pea protein, uh, pineapple, you name it, spinach. And that's why I have so much energy. That's why I feel so great. And my skin is better and everything's better because of my diet. Even though I had a full hysterectomy 12 years ago, you would think I feel horrible. And, but I have my moments, you know, with the mood swings and stuff like that. But I, I have energy. I feel great because of the diet. Now, one thing, there's foods that are very hard to eliminate. So if you're having, we call it here at my house, clogging foods, my daughters and I always say, that's going to clog you. <laughs> and we make a joke about it. If you're having foods that do not have fiber and your diet is all meat and pasta, alcohol, you're not going to be able to eliminate that easily. So to me, elim elimination is key. So if you're not having bowel movements, if you're not sweating, if you're not moving, that's going to be a big problem down the road. And you, you never know how many years. You can start when you're 10 years old, 20, 30, 40, God, you don't know. So elimination is key. You know, um, I have a family member who has switched to a plant-based diet recently. He'd been kind of transitioning more and more you know, he's been eating meat and, and fried food and fast food most his life. He's dealt with a lot of health issues, um, but is taking back control of his health in his late sixties and is saying, look, I am exercising. I want to live longer and healthier. I don't want a cancer diagnosis. I'm going to eat more whole foods, more plant-based foods. So he's been going primarily vegan for the most part. Um, and the thing that he told me, which was so awesome to hear is like, he's like, my bowel movements have been just amazing. I mean, I go two or three times a day and I said, well, that's, you should be going. And he's two or three times a day minimum. And he's like, yeah. And I said, how many times would you go before? He said, maybe once a day, sometimes not even. 
And that's a serious problem, anybody tuning in, if you are not having two or three bowel movements or more every single day and, and good bowel movements, right? It's not struggling. It's not painful. It's not, I mean, you know, obviously if you have colon cancer or something, you know, of, of that degree, it's, it's, it's a different story. If you have Crohn's disease or something else going on, you know, there's going to be pain involved. But generally speaking, your bowel movements should be nice and smooth and easy and, and full and um, two or three times a day easily. Right. So he said now, because I'm eating, you know, all these vegetables, all this fruit, all this, and he's loving it and he's feeling better. And he's, you know, has more energy, just like you said. Um, but he's getting those toxins. He's getting that channel of elimination, moving, getting the toxins out of the body, eliminating, not letting all that fecal matter sit inside and basically ferment and rot, which is what mm -hmm. happens. You know, if you eat a lot of meat and you're not having many bowel movements and you're, you know, that meat is just in eggs and dairy and whatever else, processed food and chemicals and things are just sitting in there, you know, rotting literally in your stomach, in your gut, in your intestines. Um, so you got to be moving that every single day. And he feels so much better because of it. I have clients that go 10 days with a habit of bowel movement and wow. they think that it's okay. And they come to see me because they have migraine inflammation, rashes, and they don't know what's wrong. And a doctor, a conventional medicine doctor cannot, there's no medicine that's working for them. So I said, tell me about, tell me about your diet, bowel movements and stress. Those three things always. And all those three things are wrong. And 10 days they, they go, and they, that's a red light. That's a big, I mean, how can, go on like that there's going to be yeah. some kind of disease coming we hope you enjoyed this short excerpt from the health and healing club this entire video including an in-depth discussion and thoughtful and inspiring questions and answers is available inside the health and healing club along with hundreds of hours of premium and exclusive life-changing content practices and holistic natural and integrative solutions for health and healing you can start your free trial today at healthandhealingclub.com.